many aspects of life as we know it have changed, not the least of which is students learning remotely from home. The goal is to, of course, move them back into the classrooms, but funding will be limited. And one of the first things to go are always the arts programs. Five years ago, the Academy of Musical Performance, AMP, was started by local musician Will Sturgeon to teach young people piano and drums and guitar and many other instruments with the bonus of performing for audiences after completion. And now, like so many other resourceful nonprofits, they've switched over to Zoom technology to continue their programs. It's been a big hit and a great silver lining for future rock stars. What was the brainchild of AMP? It was inspired by uh, one of our board of directors had watched the movie School of Rock and was like, why don't we bring a summer camp like that here to the desert? So um, in 2015, they secured some funding from Golden Voice, our seed funding for the first three years to run three years of the summer camp. Um, and I came on board as a volunteer during that first year. And uh, slowly but surely, we built it out to a year round program that offers lessons, um, rock band performances throughout the year. COVID hit right before the summer and you had great plans for your summer camp and of course to continue yeah. your programs. So tell me how you were able to adapt during this time. We were a little bit nervous about our summer camp this year, uh, particularly having to change it so drastically a week beforehand, but it actually turned out really well. We did two weeks of um, recording and video production, and uh, you can check out on our website the final projects that the students made. Um, they recorded them in their bedrooms uh, over a collaborative software tool, and then video and edited video together and the videos are super awesome. The technology doesn't exist yet to have people play, you know, multiple people play music together over Zoom or, you know, over some sort of video internet thing. So we had to figure out, you know, what kind of value could we bring to a program that's just online. And luckily, music, it, uses so many modern tools um, and we kind of pivoted more towards recording um, and video production and band management, which are all still very important tools that musicians these days have to use. Are you going to continue doing your Zoom classes uh, throughout the school year? Absolutely. Um, and we're actually really excited about it because we were planning this spring to uh, start private lessons, which is not something that AMP usually did. AMP was mostly focused on group learning in a rock band situation, which sometimes didn't cover like all of the fundamentals of guitar or keyboards. It wasn't the best place for students to, to learn an instrument, um, but it was a great place for students who had some sort of basic um, experience on their instrument to start collaborating and using those skills with other people. We're doing all of our one-on-one -on -one lessons over Zoom at this point, and that's working really well. What a great way to rock on during this uncertain time. For NBC Care's Silver Lining, I'm Sandy Newton.